Welcome to SFR Devlog 5, and welcome all the new subscribers to the channel. I really appreciate the support. If you're new here, SFR is a roguelike deck building strategy game where you battle enemies in search of your resting place. It's been a bit of time since I've talked about SFR, but I assure you I have been working hard to get it ready for release. In fact, you can wishlist it on Steam right now. In this video, I'd like to go over a large feature responsible for the replayability of SFR, the Necropolis. This is where you can keep track of all the unlockable content the game has to offer, from new upgrades to new characters. In the Necropolis, you can unlock 37 new upgrades, along with the power upgrades I showcased in Devlog 3. Link to the playlist in the description. I've tried to design the upgrades in a way that they can each vary in value as you progress further. Take Oracle's Insight, for example. It heals you and gives you a reveal choice when you flip a Lantern Light Grave. On a fresh save file, however, there's only two ways to get Lantern Light Graves, Lanterns and Heaven Spade. This build path is not always fruitful. But, as your necropolis grows, you'll get upgrades like Gazing Horror that adds a lantern-like monster to your graveyard, or Vision of Might, which trades your power for lantern-like reveals. These are just a few examples of upgrades that can create powerful builds as you unlock more things in the necropolis. Upgrades aren't the only things you can unlock, though. You can also unlock curses. A curse is basically SFR's version of new characters. They're meant to flip the basic fundamentals of the game around to create new gameplay situations. The easiest of the curses to unlock is the Werewolf's Curse. When afflicted by it, you are forced to howl at the moon in each upgrade cemetery, getting random upgrades in the process. This curse can create interesting build combinations that players wouldn't otherwise consider. Or it can give you total garbage. <coughs> Beating the game with the curse will unlock a permanent change to the graveyard. Werewolf's Curse allows for full moons to spawn. A full moon will cause other curses to howl at the moon while gaining stat bonuses. If you encounter a full moon with the Werewolf's Curse, however, you'll be allowed to choose an upgrade instead. Adding progression in the form of the Necropolis also prompted me to change the Starter Blessings. These are the upgrades that you can choose at the start of each run. Most players would just stick with one blessing and not try the others, so I added a system that caused the blessings to break if you use them too many times, forcing players to try all three of them. Then, once they all break, you'll be able to toggle them on or off to create interesting synergies. With all these new upgrades and mechanics, it would sometimes feel bad when your run was beginning to pick up and you suddenly won, effectively losing all your progress. So, I added another unlock. Thank you very much for watching, and thanks again for all the support on my last video. If you want to follow the development of SFR and my other projects, then consider subscribing.